Now let's look at the delete operation in binary search trees. Now let's break down the problem into three subparts. It is possible that the node to be deleted is a leaf node itself. Then it's also possible that the node to be deleted has only one children, one child. Also, the node could have two children. Now, how we handle the delete operation in each of these cases is different. Now let's look at them one by one. Now let's say the node to be deleted is a leaf node. Let's say we have to delete the number 7 in this binary search trees. Then the procedure is simple. First of all, we search and locate the number 7 by moving to the right and right. As you, could have, as you would have learned in the search module. Now, once we have located the 7, we can simply remove the node since it, it doesn't have any consequence to our binary search tree. Now let's look at the next example where the node to be deleted has only one child. Here, let's say we have to delete the node 4. First of all, we locate the node 4. Now, since it has one child 2, what we could do is make 2 a child of 5 and then remove 4. Then the transformed binary search tree would look like this 5, 2, 6. Now let's look at the next example. Let's say we have to delete the number 6 in this. Now what could be the solution? What we actually do is first of all locate the number 6 since we have found 6. Now we need to replace 6 with its successor and then we can delete 6. How do we find the successor? We find the lowest number in the right child of the number 6. Here since the right subtree has only 7, 7 is the successor of 6. Now what we do is replace 6 and 7 for the time being even though it violates our invariant property. Now we can simply remove 6 as we did earlier.